Royals hosting the A's. The A's are plus 138 on the money line. The Royals are minus 164. The over-under is nine runs. The A's getting a run and a half on the run line are minus 152, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. And the Royals laying a run and a half on the run line are plus 126, meaning if you bet them that way, they must win by two or more. Now, these are the overnight odds. They're going to change the closer we get to first pitch tomorrow. And the weather is supposed to be 84 degrees, 10 mile an hour winds blowing from the right to the left, and a 4% chance of rain. And anyone who bets the over-unders, I highly encourage you to check the weather before the game, before you bet it. Now, Sears did not pitch against the Royals either last year or this year, which is pretty shocking. Singer pitched once against the A's, four innings, five runs, five earned. They lost 5-4. He struck out four. Head-to-head, -head, the Royals are on a three-game winning streak, but the A's are 6-4 and four against them in their last 10. The home team's won the last two. The home team is 5-5. Five and five. The favorites won the last three games they played against each other. The underdog is 6-4 and four on the money line. The underdog getting a run and a half on the run line is also 6-4. and four. There have been two one-run games in their last 10 meetings. The unders hit in their last three. The over-under is 5-5, five and five, and the under-9 is 5-3-2. and two. For the A's, they are 3-2 and two as a team in Sears' last five starts. The under is 4-1 and one in his last five starts. He's averaging five and two-thirds innings pitched, 5.4 hits, 2.4 earned runs, 5.2 strikeouts, one walk a game, 1.2 home runs per game. He's given up a home run in his last two starts, 94.4 pitches per game, and then 16.2 pitches per inning per game in his last five starts. For the Royals, they are two and three in Singer's last five starts. The over has hit in his last two starts. The over is three and two in his last five starts. Five and a third innings pitched, 5.4 hits, 2.4 earned runs, 5.8 strikeouts, 1.8 walks per game, 0.4 home runs. He gave up a home run in his last start, 100.4 pitches per game, and 18.4 pitches per inning. The Royals, I will give them credit. They let their pitchers pitch. So, you know, you're not getting uh, shorted when the Royals' pitchers are on the mound. The A's are 1-9 and nine in their last 10. They are on a 2, 4, 6, 7 game losing streak. 3 runs, 9 runs, 8 runs, 8 runs. Shut out and a loss, 1 run and a loss, 2 runs and a loss, 3 runs and a loss. For the Royals, they're 7-3 and three in their last 10, 3-1 and one in their last 4. 6 runs, 6 runs, 8 runs, 8 runs. 4 runs and a win, 2 runs and a loss, 6 runs and a win, 5 runs and a win. Royals with the money line, Royals laying the runs, and I am going to go under the 9. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut. And please bet responsibly.